Thanks, Tom. Before we get to all of those details, take a look at this must-see video to Moscow through Dubai. And, well, they've just done the unthinkable. I can, like, no harnesses, no ropes, no nothing. They're just climbing up to the top of the building, getting the selfie stick. No thanks. <laughs> I call them crazy. Beautiful day today. Temperatures aren't going to be as warm as yesterday. Yesterday we hit, you know, 26 degrees through Hamilton. Today we're looking at more like 15. Tomorrow around 13 degrees. We still have that kind of northerly wind. High pressure firmly in place, which is good news. That means we're going to be seeing lots of sunshine. Next best chance of some active weather is going to be coming in Thursday. Late day with this system to our south. We could see some showers continuing throughout the down Friday. As we get closer to Saturday, though, it looks as though many models want to keep this system to our south, which is great news because that means we're going to be seeing some sunshine. And all in all, throughout the week, temperatures staying in the double-digit seasonal range. Thanks, Rachel. You can find out more information about our Alert Ready system on our website, theweathernetwork.com. I'm Emily Vukovic. It is Tuesday. It's the 14th of April, and we're looking at another beautiful day today. Before I get to all of our forecast details, take a look at this. You can just see a lot of that damage looks pretty extensive. Temperatures yesterday throughout parts of Toronto. Let's see, tomorrow morning we're looking at sunshine, 5 degrees, and then this map. I don't know, I almost feel like I need to do a little song and dance or something because there's really not much to talk about. We are going to be seeing high pressure in place for the next few days and temperatures getting into the long range, they're seasonal or even slightly above. High pressure tracks towards the east. Our next best chance to see a few isolated showers is going to come in Thursday overnight into Friday. And then it looks as though that system wants to stay south on Saturday, which is good news for people that love their weekends. Here's Tom Reynolds with an update on your commute. Thanks so much, Kevin. Yeah, it's about that time of year. I just made my appointment to get my summer tires put back on, but the place is back. They're like, yeah, next available appointment next Saturday. <laughs> I go, okay, sounds good. <laughs> All right, before we get to our forecast, take a look at this crazy video. Tomorrow morning, we're looking at five degrees in the sun. That northerly wind is kind of keeping us at or slightly below our seasonal average. And, and in some cases, we're actually seeing a little bit above. So, I mean, the rest of the week, we're looking at mild conditions with that wind coming in from the south in some cases. Brisk? Mm, depends on how you define brisk, <laughs> I suppose. Temperatures tomorrow, we're looking at about 13, 14 degrees, depending on where you are. Thursday, we're looking at some late day showers moving in. And then Friday, we do have the risk of a few isolated showers. Uh, but temperatures are going to be milder. Now, I don't agree with the Saturday forecast. I think it's going to be more dry. Even though we do have that very, very slight risk of a few isolated showers, I think we'll see more sunshine and uh, seasonal temperatures. Here's Tom with a quick preview of traffic. Let's go for a walk in space. The world's craziest marathon. And a boy plunges into a big cat enclosure. This is News in the Mix. GoPro meets Spacewalk. Two US astronauts, the world's coldest marathon. A marathon. And lastly, Zoos are open and safety needs to be top of mind. Good morning, it's Tuesday. It is the 14th of April. Thanks for joining us. I'm Emily Vukovic. We're looking outside our Oakville studios right now. Beautiful sunrise. We're going to see lots of sunshine today. It's just not going to be as warm as yesterday. We'll talk about our forecast details and check in with Kevin Yard in just a moment. But first, take a look at this video to clean up and hopefully the weather cooperates in the next couple of weeks. All right, let's check in with Kevin. He joins us at Woodbine Racetrack. I believe that's where you are, Kevin. And conditions again. I love that you're still wearing your spring jacket. Jacket. Not a ton to see on this next map. We've just got high pressure firmly in place. The sunshine is really our story for the next couple of days. Temperatures are going to stay relatively mild throughout the day tomorrow. Our seasonal average is 12 degrees and tomorrow we're going to see a daytime high of 13, so quite lovely. High pressure starts to track its way east. Our next best chance of showers comes in late day Thursday, overnight and into Friday. Saturday, some of the models are optimistic and it looks as though they're going to keep that rain to our south. Scattered showers possible, but for the most part, it looks as though we're seeing some sunshine. 13 degrees for tomorrow, 12 for Thursday, 13 for Friday, 12 for Saturday, and then 10 for Sunday. So a little bit cooler to start off next week, but we're still into double digit territory. Good morning, I'm Emily Vukovic. It is Tuesday, it is the 14th of April. Thanks so much for joining us. Beautiful sunrise from yesterday morning of downtown. You can just see the sun burning through the sky and that's gonna be very similar to what it'll look like today, that's for sure. Lots of sunshine in our forecast. Before we get to those details, take a look at this video. This Fairdale, 
They've got about 50 buildings, 150 people live there, and every building had some sort of damage on it. So we wish them the best of luck. Kevin Yard joins us at Woodbine Racetrack this morning. And Kevin, <laughs> so much fun on such a beautiful day. Not a lot to talk about on this map, which is kind of good news. It means we've got high pressure in place. We are going to see lots of sunshine today and into tomorrow. Our next best chance of seeing some active weather is coming in late today, Thursday, with a system to our south. Could bring us a few isolated showers. The showers will continue throughout the day on Saturday. The closest you are to cottage country, the drier you'll be. The closest you are to the south, down through Hamilton and through Burlington, down through Niagara. That's your best chance of seeing some wet weather. Saturday looks as though <laughs> the forecast model wants to keep this system to the south, which is good news. I mean, keep in mind today is only Tuesday and lots of things could change before then. But as we stand right now, this week looks pretty good. We've got 13 degrees tomorrow, 12 for Thursday, late day showers. And then for Friday, fairly wet, but milder. And then Saturday looking pretty good, staying at double digits with a little bit of sunshine. Yeah, that's amazing. I'm a little jealous of you today, Kevin. I just tweeted a picture of Kevin. He took a picture of all the horses kind of er, doing their early morning practice. It's pretty cool. Before we get to forecast details, take a look at this video. Services or ropes, and I can't imagine that that's legal. I don't, I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's probably not so legal. <laughs> I mean, it's cool to see his little album, but scary to say the least. All right, today temperatures, we're getting up to 15 degrees, so a very pleasant day. And not a lot to show on this map, which is kind of good news. It means we have a lot of high pressure in place, which I think a lot of people are going to be happy about. Temperatures tomorrow, it looks as though we're going to be hitting kind of the low to mid-teens. Next best chance of active weather comes in on Thursday. We've got showers to our south that is going to be bringing us some late day rain and that's going to continue throughout the day on Friday. Saturday, this system, some forecast models are bringing it a little bit further north. Other forecast models are keeping it south. It looks as though it is going to stay south, which is great news. We do have that chance of isolated showers, but 12 degrees, a mix of sun and cloud, and Sunday looks great. A little bit on the cooler side. We're looking at 10, but still into double digits well into next week. Here's Tom now with a preview of traffic. An expert, but maybe that's a question you can think of to ask him next time. Okay, today we are seeing temperatures that will be mild, but not as mild as yesterday or to today. High pressure firmly in place for the next couple of days. Not a lot of action on this map, that's for sure, which is great. <laughs> it means we've got high pressure firmly in place. It's going to track its way east, and our next best chance of seeing some active weather comes in Thursday, late today, and into Friday. See those showers the further south you are? Better chance of seeing some rain the further north you are, up towards cottage country. You look to be okay, fairly dry. As we get into Saturday, some of the forecast models want to keep this system to the south like ours, <laughs> other forecast models want to bring it a little bit further north. So there is a chance for a few scattered showers throughout the day on Saturday, but for the most part, I think the remainder of the week looks pretty good with the double digit daytime highs. Here's Tom with a preview on traffic. Very cool. Check out more Time Lapse Tuesday videos at our website, theweathernetwork.com. I'm Emily Vukovic. Thanks for joining me on this Tuesday. It's the 14th of April and we've got another nice day ahead of us and we'll talk about that coming up. But first, take a look at this selfie of them on top of the world's highest buildings and one of them is in Dubai and it's the highest commercial residential building that they went on top of. No ropes, no harnesses, just hanging out, taking a selfie. <laughs> there should be a song about that, right? There is. <laughs> All right, let's check in with Kevin Yard. He is at Woodbine Racetrack today and Kevin, that blue sky and sunshine looks amazing. Not a lot to talk about on this map, which is good news. It means we've got high pressure in place, lots of sunshine. Temperatures are going to be relatively mild today. And even into tomorrow, we're looking at about a daytime high of 13 degrees. Next best chance of active weather comes in on Thursday with the system to our south is going to be bringing us some late day showers continuing throughout the day on Friday. But temperatures all in all this week, we're looking at double digit daytime highs through the GTA. Hi there, good morning. Thanks for joining us here on the Weather Network. I'm Emily Vukovic. It is Tuesday, it is the 14th of April, and yesterday, wow, what a gorgeous day. Temperatures anywhere between kind of 
16 degrees and 26 degrees. 16 was down at city center. Hamilton got up to 26.3. Just really, really beautiful forecast until the rain came in, of course. But we stayed away from the thunderstorms, which was good. Now, the pattern for the remainder of the week gives us mild air coming in from the south, which is great. So we are going to be seeing temperatures sitting into double-digit territory, either at or slightly above our seasonal average. Tomorrow looks great. We're seeing lots of sunshine, temperatures hovering around 13 degrees. So not as warm as it was yesterday, but still really quite pleasant and seasonal. By Thursday, next system moves in from the south. This could be giving us a few late day showers and that risk is going to continue throughout the day on Friday. Temperatures are going to be a little milder with that southerly flow. Now for Saturday, it's not looking like a bad day. We've got pleasant conditions, a few isolated showers, and I know a lot of people are starting to, you know, have weddings to go to now that spring has sprung. I do know one person that's getting married on Saturday, and it looks as though it is going to be quite pleasant, but again, that risk, that threat of showers is going to be there. <laughs> Next week, I'm... I, you know, I have to be so optimistic because when this says cooler, it's all going to be relative to our seasonal average. So this week, our seasonal average is around 12 degrees. Next week, that is going to bump up. So when you see temperatures that are, you know, th two to three, possibly even four degrees below that, we're still looking at double digit daytime highs. So it's certainly not going to be feeling like February. <laughs> looking at the seven day forecast, we've got 13 for tomorrow, 12 for Thursday, 13 for Friday, and then 12 for Saturday. Sunday, see, this is what we're talking about, the cooler next week. Still at 10 degrees, so that's pretty decent. And then for Tuesday, we're looking at 12. And I mean, most of the rain that we're seeing this week, typical kind of April showers. The May pattern looks great. We've got temperatures that are going to be mild. It's about time, right? <laughs> so much of the country is being protected by this big ridge in the jet stream, which means we've got that nice southerly flow, and that will help keep us mild for the month of May. More signs behind the weather videos at our website, theweathernetwork.com. Thanks for joining us on this Tuesday. It is the 13th of April. I'm Emily Vukovic. What a beautiful day yesterday. We are going to see similar conditions, just not as warm today. And we'll talk more about that in a moment. But first, take a look at this must-see video. Yep, it's the hottest trend of the decade. If I was his mother, he would give me a heart attack every single day. <laughs> but very cool, and he's very brave. Kevin Yard joins us at Woodbine Racetrack this morning. Kevin, I am loving that sunshine and blue sky behind you. It looks great. Well, a beautiful day today. Temperatures getting up to 15 degrees. Not a lot of active weather to show on this map. You see the high pressure just kind of whip through. <laughs> it's going to be nice tomorrow as well. Temperatures hitting about 13, so quite mild. We're seasonal. We're slightly above the seasonal average. For Thursday, we do have a chance of a few showers kind of late day, and then that can continue into Friday. Now, as we get closer to the weekend, the forecast kind of wants to play games with us a little bit. We've got some forecast models in disagreement of what to expect for Saturday. So as it is right now, we have a chance of sunshine, but we also have a chance of showers, but it's still mild at seasonal temperatures. Oh, so this map, if it looks a little empty, uh, it is. Never mind, I'm not going to show you that map. <laughs> Changed our mind, did we? All right, we've got mild conditions this week. It is going to be seasonal or slightly above as we get closer to the weekend. Tomorrow, we're looking at lots of sunshine. Temperatures hovering around 13 degrees. We should be around 12 for this time of year, so that's normal. Could see a few isolated showers throughout the day on Thursday, but they're going to be coming in late day. And then throughout the day on Friday, scattered showers kind of on and off. Temperatures are relatively mild. And then Saturday, well, some of our forecast models like to disagree on this forecast. We're taking the more optimistic view to keep that risk of showers to the south. But some forecast models want to push it a little bit further north. So I think it's, it's fair to say that, yes, we will see some sunshine, but yes, we could see some rain. Now, temperatures into next week, they're going to be a little bit cooler, but cooler relative to seasonal. Double digits? Yes. High double digits? No. By Monday, we're looking at a daytime high of 10 degrees. Here's Tom with a quick preview of traffic. All right, well, Kevin's having a great time, but we're having some audio issues, so we'll check out here with Kevin in just a few moments. I'm Emily Vukovic. It is Tuesday. It's the 14th of April, and if you liked yesterday, you're going to like today, except we're not going to be that warm. Yesterday, we saw daytime highs hovering around 26 degrees in Hamilton, record-breaking and the hot spot across the country. We never get to be the hot spot across the country, especially in April. BC normally steals it from us. <laughs> but today, we're going to be 50. Cool side. We are going to be seeing milder air continue through the rest of this week. The pattern is good. 
double-digit daytime highs. Now, as we get closer to the end of the week, we are going to be seeing the potential for some showers, and that's going to come in on Thursday and into Friday. We are going to be seeing that risk, so keep that in mind. As we get closer to the weekend, temperatures, they're still going to stay relatively close to seasonal, which is good. Pleasant potential for showers, question mark? <laughs> I know, a couple of the forecast models want to bring in this rain, and a couple of them want to keep them a little bit to the south. We're liking this model a little bit better because it's a bit more optimistic. Here's a more pessimistic view. Pleasant potential for showers throughout the day. And then Sunday looks to be a drier day, but temperatures are going to be cooler with a shift to more of a northerly wind. And then as we get into Monday, typical April showers. All right, I'm going to turn things over to Tom Reynolds. He's got a quick preview on traffic. I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Tuesday. It's the 14th of April. Thanks so much for joining us. Today is going to be another beautiful day, just not as warm as yesterday. Before we break down your forecast details, take a look at this. Call him a daredevil, call him a skywalker, call him crazy. I don't know. Cool, but no harness, no ropes. It makes my knees weak just watching it. <laughs> All right, we're going to check in with Kevin Yard. He's having a lot of fun this morning. He's at Woodbine Racetrack in the parking lot with Michelin trying to uh, figure out how to stop on slippery road conditions. Kevin? <laughs> Not a lot to talk about for the next couple of days, which is great. We've got high pressure in place, lots of sunshine. Temperatures are going to be exactly where they should be. Seasonal average 12, 13 degrees. Next best chance of rain comes in late day Thursday into Friday. That's when we're going to start to see some moisture pick up. And then as we get closer to the weekend, Saturday wants to play games with us a little bit, but it looks as though we're going to stay relatively close to seasonal. See a little bit of sunshine, but we also might see a few isolated showers. Hi there, good morning. Thanks for joining us on this Tuesday, it's April the 14th. I'm Emily Vukovic, and today we're expecting another beautiful day. Not as warm as yesterday, but still quite pleasant. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a moment. But first, take a look at this video. For themselves at the highest residential building in the world with no harness and no ropes. <laughs> yeah, no thanks. <laughs> Kevin Yard joins us today at Woodbine Racetrack. And Kevin, I am loving that sunshine you're seeing. You know, I do think that's pretty neat because I don't know much about tires. All I know is that when I booked my appointment, uh, the place was backed up for a week and a half to try and get my summer tires on. So that I do know. All right, 15 degrees is our daytime high today. Not a lot to talk about on this map. We have high pressure firmly in place, so lots of sunshine. Temperatures are going to stay relatively close or at seasonal for the next few days. Next best chance to see some rain. Thursday, late day, system from the south comes in, gives us a few showers, and that's going to continue kind of on and off throughout the day on Friday. Saturday, the forecast likes to play games. We've got a couple of different forecast models that are saying different things. The first one is very optimistic. It's leaving us with the system to the south, so we are going to be seeing relatively clear conditions, a little bit of sunshine. But we do have another forecast model that wants to push that precipitation a little bit further north, so we can see quite a bit of rain by Saturday afternoon. But as of right now, we're sticking with a more optimistic view. We've got 12 degrees for Thursday. Friday, we get up to 13, but as you can see, fairly wet, but it's only 40%, so that could be kind of an on and off. And then Saturday, Sunday, and even into next week, temperatures are staying close or at our seasonal average. Ultimate thrill? I don't know. If I was that boy's mother, I would lose my mind. <laughs> I really would. But good for him. I guess you need to be brave to do stuff like that. All right, we'll get to your forecast details in just a few moments. But first, take a look at this video. There are cleanup efforts, which are continuing. Yesterday's daytime high, it was warm the days. In fact, this map <laughs> just shows a good week. We've got mild air coming up from the south. We've got the we're covered by that big ridge in the jet stream, which is good news. And it's a bit of a contrast to what's happening out west. I mean, remember them in the winter? What winter? They didn't have a winter in Alberta or through PC, really. So they're seeing the cooler air, cooler air right now. We've got the mild conditions coming in. Tomorrow, lots of sunshine in the forecast. Temperatures not as warm as they were yesterday, but very similar to today, about 13 degrees for Toronto. Thursday, we do have a risk of late day showers coming in, and those showers will continue throughout the day on Friday to be fairly scattered. And then Saturday, a pleasant day with isolated showers possible in the forecast. 
Hi there, I'm Emily Vukovic and joining me, meteorologist Dr. Doug Gillum. It's been all about temperatures as of late. We've been seeing seasonal temperatures, but then we get a surprise like Sunday and Monday, and we all know that that's not going to continue, is no, it? We, we sure we're spoiled, but we need to keep in mind it is still April. We're not going to continue with those temperatures right through summer. Unfortunately, there is an interruption on the way, but enjoy the rest of this week into Saturday. Those temperatures relative to average. This is good. It is. Yeah. We, do, we haven't seen very much of this this year. No. Uh, above <laughs> seasonal temperatures continue into the weekend, but. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to... As soon as he says, but, that's when I'm like, you know what? <laughs> this is the middle to end of next week. Most oh. of next week, uh, significant pattern change to below seasonal temperatures. Now, the good news is seasonal is mid-teens. Okay, We're... so th that's kind of like the relative like right. perspective of, you know, what you think is brisk and what you think is mild. So if seasonal is bumping up and we're below right. seasonal, we're still mild. Right, we're not going back to winter, but we're not going to see 20 degree temperatures again next week. Okay. Uh, Anytime you go through a pattern change, some uncertainty in the details of how you get there. Uh, so we'll talk about that for the weekend. But Friday, that next threat for rain is Thursday night, maybe lingering into early Friday. But overall, a okay. fairly nice day. Um, some clearing and milder. Saturday is where the greatest uncertainty is. At this point, we think that Saturday will be a nice day if we get a good amount of sunshine. We'll be back to the upper teens, good. but some of the models suggest a much more pessimistic view. We don't like that model. No. We don't want to go with and it. And we really think the drier version, the drier models have the better handle on that. So we'll just skip through that and go to Sunday. <laughs> this is the other model, apparently. So Sunday looks okay. Right. It will be cooler because the wind will be coming in off the lake and the next threat for rain comes Sunday night into Monday. That looks like a, a lot more April showers on the way and then cooler weather after that. That's incredible. I could barely ski. <laughs> that is incredible. Wow. Thanks so much, Deb. I'm Emily Vukovic. It is Tuesday. It is the 14th of April, and we're looking at a pretty good day. We've got daytime highs hovering into the mid teens, a daytime temperature of about 13 degrees by tomorrow afternoon. So, seasonal or slightly above. This week, we're looking good. We've got a push of mild air coming in from the south. Big Ridge and the jet stream protecting us. Cooler air to the west if you have travel plans. Well, you'd rather stay close to home this week, that's for sure. Sunshine tomorrow, but temperatures, as I was saying, about 13 degrees, so at seasonal average. By Thursday, we're looking at some late day showers. We do have a system to the south that is going to be pushing its way a little bit further north, and then those showers are going to continue throughout the day on Friday, but they are going to be fairly isolated. Milder temperatures, and then for Saturday, I do know someone who's getting married on Saturday, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed for them that the pleasant sticks around and the isolated showers kind of dissipate. System is to the south, so yes, there is a chance that we could see a little bit of active weather. Next week, cooler. It's all relative to our seasonal average. We're still going to be sitting in double-digit territory. We just should be a little bit warmer than we're going to be. And they warm up in the west with that nice big ridge in the jet stream. See, so as I was saying, it's all relative. Even into next week, we stay into double-digit territory. Good morning. I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Tuesday. It is the 14th of April. Thanks for joining us here on the Weather Network. Yesterday was an awesome day, and today, very similar forecast, just not quite as warm. I'll get to all those details in just a moment, but first, take a look at what this daredevil is daring to do. A Russian photographer, I don't know if I could do it. Just to take a selfie? Mm, I don't know about that. <laughs> Kevin Yard is joining us live this morning. He's at Woodbine Racetrack. And Kevin, what have you learned so far about putting on and taking off your winter and summer tires? Thanks, Kevin. Yeah, I don't know if I saw a moose. I, would I go straight for it? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I guess an instinct, maybe. I don't know. All right, 15 degrees today. We're seeing lots of sunshine. It's a good day to get out for a drive. Without that kind of blanket effect, that cloud cover, temperatures are going to be cold with that high pressure. Not a lot to talk about on this map. <laughs> really nothing at all. Sunshine and mildish temperatures. I say mildish because we're close to our seasonal average, which is 12 degrees. So nothing compared to what we saw yesterday. The trend is going to continue for the rest of the week. Could see a few showers through Thursday, continuing through the day on Friday. And on Saturday, some of our forecast models want to bring in a little bit more rainfall. Some of them are being a bit more optimistic. And Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, we stay close to our seasonal average.